Hi guys, it's from Mamma's Film. Welcome back to another Doctor Who video. I have another YouTube announcement. From Thursday, I am doing classic Doctor Who reviews. You guys have been begging me in the comments on my social media to do them, and I thought I'd finally do them. I'm going to start from Series 1 to about Series 27, and then I'll do the Modern Series reviews as well. Also, look out for my Season for my series 13 of the modern series reviews as well when they come out when the BBC actually release a release date trailer. So today I thought I'd do the last modern Doctor Who video I'm going to be doing for a while because it's all going to be reviews and then obviously we've got a Halloween special coming out for YouTube. If you've never seen my face on your screen before, please click please click that video big red subscribe button down below and click notifications bell so you get notifications every single time I upload. Right, so without further ado, let's get on with the video. Doctor Who, top 10 12 Doctor episodes and this is according to IMDB. Number 10, The Witch is Familiar. The Doctor is trapped on the planet Scaro the homeworld of his terrifying enemy, the Daleks. Davros, the creator of the Daleks, is dying. He begs the Doctor to help him, attempting to peel his compassion. Twelve has to decide whether to stick to his morals or try to end his nemesis once and for all. The Witch's Familiar is the second episode of the ninth season of Doctor Who. It is prayed for skillful bringing back the character of Davros from the annuals of Doctor Who history. It is the second part of the stories begun in Seasons 9, Episode 1, The British and Princess. Also, it pays homage to all the old Doctors because you hear them on Davros's screen thing. Number 9, Flatline. And the rating is an 8.9, and the rating for that one was an 8.5. This is also an 8.5. I misread it. The Doctor is trapped inside his shrunken ship, the TARDIS, time and relative dimension in space. His companion, Clara, played by Jenna Coleman, must solve the mystery of several disappearances of Bristol residents. It turns out two-dimensional aliens are turning people into graffiti. In this episode, Clara takes on the role of the Doctor while Twelve is indisposed. She embraces this challenge and performs admirably. Cole is praised for her acting in this episode. Flatline is the ninth episode of the eighth season of Doctor Who, which is very good. I liked that episode. I thought it was very good. And the fact that they had the companion Doctor switch over, making the companion be the Doctor instead of the Doctor, was perfect. And the Doctor being a, compa being a companion to his already previous companion. Number 8, The Zygon Invasion. The ratings were an 8.5. Earth has been invaded by shape-shifting aliens known as the Zygons. Clara form, form has been taken over by a Zygon named Bonnie who is leading the invasion. The Doctor works with members of UNIT, Unified Intelligence Task Force and Bonnie to reach a compromise between the two sides who are dead set on mutual destruction. The Zygon Asphasian is the 8th episode of the ninth season. It's the second part of the story which starts in the Zygon Invasion. This episode is known for Capaldi's impressive anti-war speech. No one wins for long, he says, responding to Bonnie's declaration that she always wins. It's funny that that episode is literally the Zygon Invasion and the first part is the Zygon Invasion. Maybe Stephen Moffat just ran out of what to call that episode. By the way, these glasses here are fake. These are my Doctor Who YouTube prop glasses for me to read off screen and stuff. But also they seem to stop my screen headaches. So, who knows. Number 7, Face the Ravens. And the rating was an 8.5. The Doctor and Clara discover a hidden alien fugitive in the middle of London while trying to figure out their friend Rixie, played by Jova Wade. Got a tattoo. This is counting down to his death. They encounter me, played by Maisie Williams, which she's a loved character, probably because she's played by Maisie Williams, a character from their past, who was the mayor of this fugitive. 
Clara takes the countdown tattoo from Rig Rigsy and ultimately face mm. must face her own death. This is an emotional episode that that's the 10th episode of season 9. Clara faces her fate without the doctor interfering for once. Let me be let me be brave. She tells him, "Unfortunately, it it is I regress to eliminate the doctor that got her doomed in the first place. It is a great, um, the only issue I have with it is that Clara should have remained dead and not come back in heaven sent, in heaven, no in heaven sent. That's the only issue that I have with that particular death is that Stephen Moffat decided to resurrect her in heaven sent and made her live again and make her fly away in a TARDIS that looks like a diner which was a stupid idea why? I don't like, I like her death, I think her death is really good but when they undid it in heaven sent it wasn't good for me it didn't give Clara that redemption that she needed it just kind of, it, uh, it kind of undid that redemption of her being the impossible girl it kind of undid her story arc there in heaven sent when they told us that she had no pulse so I don't know what Stephen Moffat was thinking when he wrote Heaven Sent but Heaven Sent is not a very good episode for Clara as Clara's last episode I think her death should have finished with Face the Raven and that was it and Clara will always be my least favourite companion alongside Rose she's a strong contender number six Dark Water Ratings were an 8.6. The Master and the Doctor... The, the Master, the Doctor's long, lifelong nemesis slash former best friend, returns as Missy, played by Michelle Gomez, and brings the Cybermen with her in this episode. The Doctor and Clara discover that while attempting to communicate with Clara's boyfriend, Danny Pink, played by the one and only Samuel... Anderson from Beyond the Grave. Dark wa Water is a tragic episode in many ways. Not only does Danny die, but the way Clara refuses to accept his death is heartbreaking. The shock of Missy returning wraps up a power of the episode. Also, can I just point out a lot of people don't like Dark Water because at the time when that first aired there was a lot of children who just suffered death and that episode was showing like life after death which we all know isn't actually true so uh, that episode gets that episode had a lot of complaints when it first originally aired because a lot of children were suffering death like they they just suffered a loss i mean if you're like 16 17 or 18 now you can probably watch Dark Water and not think anything of it but children when that episode but children probably age of seven or seven or eight at that time probably saw Dark Water as just an upsetting episode like life after death thinking their relatives still still exist in another universe so you can understand why a lot of parents complained about Dark Water at the time. Number five Hellbent the Doctor escapes his prison and ends up on his home planet, Gallifrey. His species, the Time Lords, imprison him to, to force a confession about the hybrid, which is proceed to unravel time. The Doctor becomes president of Gallifrey and saves Clara just a moment before her death. Yeah, this is the episode I'm talking about. It undoes Clara's death, which is annoying and I hate it. I hate the fact that Stephen Moffat had to undo her bloody death. I mean, come on. She should have just died. Clara erases the, the Doctor's memories to protect both of them and flies off in a TARDIS with me. Hellbent is the second episode in the two-episode story. It's the season finale of season nine and a final goodbye to Clara, who served as a companion for three seasons. Probably one of the longest, alongside Sarah Jane Smith, Tegan Javanka, Jamie McCrimmon, Amy, Amy and Rory Pond, I would say. Oops. And now Yasmin Khan, who is actually now one of, is, is going to be one of the Doctor's 
13th Doctor's longest serving companions. Number four, listen, and this got a rating of 8.9. The Doctor is convinced that there is that there are creatures present with us all the time, noticeably only in silence. He travels with Clara to the ends of the universe in search of it, unable to find what he's looking for. But afraid to afraid of the situation, the Doctor is thrown back into his own timeline. Clara meets the young Doctor and gives a beautiful speech about fear. She encourages him not to hide his fear, but to let him brave instead. Listen is the fourth episode of season eight and and con contains Clara's first date with Danny Pink. And that's a re Listen's a really creepy episode. Number three, the Doctor falls. The Doctor is trying to save his companion Pill, and this got a rating of nine. Um, the Doctor is trying to save his companion Bill, played by Pearl Mackey, and remaining human population on a huge colony ship. Bill has been converted into a Cyberman in the lower le levels of the ship, where time moves more rapidly than in the upper levels. The humans, Bill and the Doctor, mount a resistance against the Cybermen. The Doctor falls is the season 10 finale. Capaldi appears in one more episode, the following Christmas special, Twice Upon Time. This is the, this is Bill's last official episode and she gets a happy ending she deserves after a traumatic transformation. Yep, agreed. I love the fact that when Bill turns into a Cyberman she's not going to be like a Cyberman that kills people. She's actually going to fight along the Doctor and actually be a good Cyberman. Which I think was a nice dynamic, turning a Cyberman good for once. Number two, World Among Time and the ratings on this episode were a 9.2. This episode is the first part of the story finished in The Doctor Falls. The Doctor, Missy and Bill, the Doctor, Bill, Bill, Missy and their friend Nardole, played by Matt Lucas, responds to a distress call on a, on a colony ship which is trying to escape a black hole. To save the humans on the ship, the Doctor must battle Missy, her previous incarnation, the Master, played by John Sim, and Physics to save the day. World Among Time is the first Doctor Who episode that featured more than one incarnation of the Master. It also explains the origin of the Cybermen and brings back their original design in the, en in the end arc of Capaldi's final season as the Doctor. And number one, Heaven Sent, and this was a 9.6 rating. The Doctor is trapped in a prison that seems to be sophisticatedly designed for him. He is chased by a a slow moving monster that only stops in response to telling the truth. The Doctor lives the same cycle over and over, slowly chipping through the wall, keeping him from the TARDIS. Heaven Sent is widely recognised to be Capaldi's best episode. It takes place in a castle where the Doctor is trapped alone for billions of years. The restriction setting and cast allowed Capaldi to showcase his great talent. That's it. That's all I've got. Hi. Um, okay, so I just want to make a, another quick announcement that I saw a few days ago on Facebook, in one of my Facebook groups. On that note, if you're from one of my Facebook Doctor Who, if you're from a Doctor Who group that I, I'm, I'm on, then hello everybody, welcome to the channel. Uh, I just want to put out a little notice that I read about and heard about um, a few days ago actually. Fear grows for missing Doctor Who actress Tanya Fear, last seen in LA. <coughs> Sorry. Uh, British, I'll read you a bit about it, I don't want to make this video too long though. British actress Tanya Fear has not been seen since September 9th and was spotted in the Hollywood Bowl area of LA. She has no family in the US, so Fear, so her relatives are really worried for the star. Families and friends of the British actress Tanya Fear are growing increased concerned as she's not been seen since September 9th. An urgent social media appeal has been launched to find LA 
based Tanya, who has appeared in Doctor Who after she was last seen in Hollywood Bell area of LA, according to her friend who posted a plea to get in touch on Twitter. Another pal said, our friend Tanya is missing. She was last seen in LA area on the 9th of the 9th 2001. No one has seen or heard from her since. Reposting her picture with a hashtag find Tanya fear to help locate her. If you see her or know where she is, please call brackets 626 bra close brackets little dash 232 dash 8616 I think that's an American number hashtag missing person hashtag missing her cousin is also very worried and begged the public to share the picture of Tanya as she has no family in the US and we're all really worried Tanya is described as being five foot three with brown eyes and curly black afro hair and weighs 140 pounds that can't be right. She was in Doctor Who in 2008 playing Dr Jade McIntyre in the episode Arachnids in the UK. She was also in Kiss Ass 2 in 2013 according to, I, to IBN B. She, she, she is also an aspirational stand-up comedian and attended King's College London. Tanya seems to be fairly active on Twitter and her last post was September 8th. Tanya is believed to be in her mid-thirties and as well as acting and comedy, her biography states she is a director and actor. Most recently she created Shoot Your Shot 2, an international fair and comedic shoot. The official Doctor Who fan page on Twitter has also posted on The Missing Actress. They wrote Missing Person Alert, Tanya Fear who played Jade in Doctor Who, in hashtag Doctor Who, Arachnids in the UK went missing on the 9th of the 9th, 2021. Fans have also left messages on social media for the star. One person tweeted, hope she is found soon. Another added, hope she comes home. A third person added, please come home, Tanya. That's all I've got. So yeah, I just thought I'd put that alert on there, just in case you guys hear about it. Uh, Let's all keep an eye out for her. She went missing in LA, there's a good chance she'll be back in the UK. But let's just all keep an eye out. If you did enjoy this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you did, make sure you click that big subscribe button down below. And also click the notifications so you, get, so you get notifications every single time I upload. Until then, and see you next time. Until then, have a, have a stay wibbly wobbly, timey wobbly.